Hi everybody, it's Agnes and I've got a viewer's question today. It's from Kanika. Kanika says, I've been a huge fan of yours and been seeing all of your videos on YouTube. Recently I came across Veronica's video where she says to bring your SP closer to you is to start ignoring them a bit, which has left me a bit confused as I strongly believe in everyone's you pushed out and living in the end. So how do you or do ultimately really need to ignore the person when they make an effort to call or connect? P.S. If you could reply and make a video about this, it'd be really helpful. Okay. So let me go back through. So Veronica has said to bring your SP closer to you, you start to ignore them a bit. Well, you know, Veronica and I do very similar things. I think if I would interpret that, I would say it's to stop putting them up on a pedestal. So if you put too much importance on someone and you've got them like right there, thinking about them all the time and just making them too much a part of your thinking, then getting your head back on your own life and doing things that make you feel good, exercise, sleep, YouTube's reading, music, whatever it is, you get your head off them a little bit rather than thinking about them in a pining kind of way. Okay. So you're saying it's left me a bit confused as I strongly believe in everyone as you pushed out. Yes, I agree. Everyone is you pushed out and living in the end. So I would say, depending on what you're getting from them, you go, okay, if it's a good thing, then no problem. It's you pushed out in a good way. If it's everyone is you pushed out and you're getting something you don't want, as in, as in someone being nasty to you or the absence of someone, well, then you correct what you believe about yourself, what you believe about them and what you're projecting out. Okay, and you do it so that you do something different. So for example, because I know examples always help, if you have the absence of somebody in your life, then you might want to change. They're never around. They never contact me. I'm not a priority. I don't matter. I'm not important to them. They don't want me in their life. I mustn't be good enough. There must be something wrong with me. Whichever ones of those you've got going on, and you're not saying you've got all of those, but if you've got some of those, you start to correct those within yourself. I love how they contact me. Oh, I love our connection. I love feeling the closeness between us. I love that we understand each other. I love the kindness that they give and I love giving them kindness. I love how we get to understand each other better. When something doesn't go quite right, we can overcome it because we have a good trust and we have a good understanding. And the more I work on myself, the better the relationship is. So you talk about it like that, okay? Yes, I, living in the end as well. You're, that's a living in the end exercise through you talking to yourself through mental diet or self-talk as Neville, that's his words. Okay, so you're saying here, so how do you or do you ultimately really need to ignore the person? I would say no, not ignoring the person, but not putting them up on the pedestal and doing your own life and getting on with what you want to do. Okay, and what you know makes you feel good instead of being in this constant obsession. That's why affirmations are good. That's living in the end. That's why imagining creates reality. You create an end scene and you enjoy how lovely your relationship is, how you're giving and it's a give and take, not, not just about you getting, but they get something too. And that it is a free flow between the two of you. Okay. So if they you're saying if they make the effort to call or connect then no i wouldn't ignore them i would be open i'd be inviting i'd be kind i'd be gracious i'd be dignified and i would reciprocate because they're stepping towards you so you step towards them especially if you want to be with them i think that's not the time to apply that whole no contact rule thing it's not the time to ignore them that's a time to be selective and say, hey, things are actually moving towards something here. So I'm going to enjoy the connection and the being together, whether it's through a phone call, through Skype, through seeing them in person, any of those things. Okay. So you said, could you please make a video? That would be helpful. 
Well, I hope that helps you, Kanika. You sent me that request uh, in the beginning of December 2017. So I hope that helps. And also there is a lovely young lady called Natalia. She has a meditation that she found that's very profound. It's a perfect combination of Ho'oponopono and unconditional love. So I will put the link down below. She said it starts at 59.24. So start it from there. Okay. <laughs> Lots of love, everybody. And I will see you as per usual in the next YouTube.